This video will discuss the different coordinate systems that are used in visual analysis, particularly for member elements. Let's get started. In visual analysis, a global coordinate system is defined for the project, a local coordinate system is defined for each member in the project, and a geometric coordinate system is defined for the shape associated with each member element. In visual analysis, the global coordinates are represented with uppercase letters for X, Y, and Z, whereas the local coordinates are always represented with lowercase letters for X, Y, and Z. The global coordinate system for the project is specified in the project settings and can be set to Cartesian, polar in the X, Y, or Z, or spherical. The axes for the global coordinate system are shown in the model view and can be turned on or off in the model filter. After we draw a member in the model, we can check the box to show the member's local axes. When a member is created, the local x-axis is defined in the direction from the start node, referred to as node 1, to the end node, which is referred to as node 2. To switch the direction of the local axes for the member, we can simply select the member, go to the Structures ribbon, and click the Reverse Local Axes button. If we draw a few more members in the model, we see that the local y-axis tends to point in an upper direction, and the local z-axis is defined based on the local x-axis and y-axis using the right-hand rule. As shown in the image, the local y-axis typically lies in the plane formed by the local x-axis and a vector parallel to the global y-axis. The exceptions to this rule are when the local x-axis is parallel to the global y-axis as shown. The beta angle changes the orientation of the local coordinate system by rotating the section about the local x-axis. We can adjust the value to any number to rotate the shape in the model as shown. The shapes used to define the members in visual analysis have a geometric coordinate system. This system is shown in the parametric shape dimensions dialog box for the various shapes such as angles, spandrels, Z's, rectangles, etc. Looking at an image for an asymmetric shape such as a single angle, we see that the shape's geometric coordinate system does not align with the shape's major and minor principal axes. The members in visual analysis are defined so that the local Z axis aligns with the shape's major principal axis and so that the local Y axis aligns with the shape's minor principal axis. The principal angle, alpha, is defined as the angle between the cross section's geometric X axis and the major principal axis, and a counterclockwise rotation is defined as positive. For symmetric shapes, the principal axis is either 0 or 90 degrees. For asymmetric shapes, such as angles, Z's, spandrels, etc., the shape's principal axis does not align with any of the geometric axes. When the principal angle is non-zero, it is displayed in the Modify tab of the Project Manager. If we change the shape of our member to a single angle, we see that the principal angle appears in a read-only field. By default, the beta angle for asymmetric members is set equal to the principal angle, alpha, so that the geometric axes align with the global coordinate system. When we apply member loads, we can specify the direction to apply the loads. We can choose to apply axial load, shears, torsion, or moments in the local coordinate systems, as denoted by the lowercase y and z, or apply forces or moments in the global coordinate system, as denoted by the uppercase x, y, and z. For this case, we will choose to apply the uniform load in the shear y local direction. Note, the direction of this load does not align with the global coordinate system since the beta angle equals the non-zero principal angle. Adding a fixed support to one end of the member and switching to the results view, we see the extreme global displacements in the model which are denoted with the uppercase X, Y, and Z for the global coordinate system. Note, the member displaces in both the global Y and the global Z directions. When we select the member, we see the extreme local displacements for the member which are denoted with lowercase X, Y, and Z for the local coordinate system. 
Note the member only displaces in the local y direction since it was only loaded in this local direction. As a side note, had this member instead been loaded in only the global y direction, there would be load in both the local y and the local z directions. Therefore, the member would have displaced in both the local y and the local z directions, and in both the global y and the global z directions. Switching to the report view, we can add the member forces table to the report. This table shows the forces for the member in the local coordinate system, which is why only shear in the local y direction and only moment about the local z axis is shown. We can also add the member geometric forces table to the report to display the member forces in the geometric coordinate system. Note, the member geometric forces are simply the vector components of the member forces that are in the local coordinate system. In addition to correctly creating members, applying loads, and interpreting analysis results, understanding the coordinate systems can help us correctly define the design parameters such as bracing and reinforcement, for members in visual analysis. For example, the reinforcement for concrete members are defined in the geometric coordinate system, not in the member's local coordinate system. Since for certain shapes like spandrels, it only makes sense to define the reinforcement in the geometric coordinate system. Going back to the model view, let's delete our current member and create a simply supported concrete member with a uniform load. Notice that the local y-axis is aligned with the global y-axis. Switching to the design view, we see that the beam is failing due to flexure. Since the beam has only positive bending moment, we will reduce the top steel and increase the bottom steel to try and get the member to pass. We immediately see that the unity value increased instead of decreasing after adjusting the reinforcement. Paying closer attention to the figure in the Define Longitudinal Reinforcement dialog box, we see a note that says the geometric axis is not aligned with the member local positive y axis. For our case, since the principal angle is zero, the local y axis points in the opposite direction of the geometric y axis. Since the local y axis for our member points upwards in the model, the bottom of the member has a larger global y coordinate than the top of the member, meaning that the member is upside down. To correct this, we can simply flip our beam to be right side up by entering 180 degrees for the beta angle in the model view. Now the local axis points in the opposite direction of the global y direction, and the bottom bars should be at the bottom of the member in our model. Switching back to the design view, we see that the unity has dropped significantly and our member now passes. To summarize, there are three coordinate systems for member elements in visual analysis. The global coordinate system, the local coordinate system, and the geometric coordinate system. The member's local z-axis always aligns with the shape's major principal axis since fundamental flexure mechanics are derived for the principal system. Care should be taken when applying loads and interpreting results, especially for shapes that have asymmetric cross-sections like angles, spandrels, and z's. Concrete reinforcement is defined in the geometric coordinate system, not in the local coordinate system. Therefore, care should be taken when specifying reinforcement so that it is correctly defined in the model. Thank you for watching and have a great day.